Yeah, the topic is uh, can visual can artificial visual signals uh, extend fish perception fields. Um, so it's a uh, uh, I want I expect many of you wonder why we do this, but uh, yeah, we figure it out. We will figure it out. So so we probably will start from our motivation to explain why we think it's an interesting topic to start and. Uh, we will explain why we set the correlated experiments and how we analyze this and uh, the result and our planned future works. Uh, so first, start from nature. Uh, we, we can know like many species, uh, in some species, uh, animals, their, their behavior will change when they, the, when their perception are altered, like uh, they're deaf or they are blind compared to other conspecifics, their behavior will change. And across different species, like uh, um, for similar, um, for fish from similar species, one of them may live in a cave for 100 years and one another species may live in open water for 100 years. They are like, they're biologically very close to each other but their perception are limited. Another one is enhanced, because another one can see each other, can perceive other things through so visual, and their behavior are changed. And then when we come to uh, human societies, we can find that uh, with technology, we enhance our perceptions, uh, cell phones, your laptop, and your behavior changed. People walking on the street, looking at cell phones, doing this, or you, looking at your laptop and hear me from thousand miles away. So this all change our behaviors. And uh, that's only the result of the enhanced perception, naturally or by technology. But we find it uh, interesting that, uh, interesting that uh, limited research has been conducted to other species uh, about how they take technology as a uh, measure of enhancement of their perception. So we think, yeah, maybe it's interesting. Let's try to make uh, 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 some different fish that can perceive in an enhanced manner. So that's why we select this topic. And another reason we select fish or, uh, as our subject is that uh, uh, there are already many simulations, but not uh, real ex experiments about how well the fish's perception, uh, how well the fish's behavior, is, especially their schooling behavior, being altered through different uh, perception fields, setting up perception fields. So we think, why, we, why don't we try it in the real world instead of only simulations? And... Naturally, like we can't do surgery to fish because uh, we are not a uh, uh, doctor. I mean, the hos hospital doctor. <laughs> and uh, that's difficult to measure well fish perception field really being expanded. So we try to do it through uh, um, another Another way, like we got our inspiration from the real view mirror, like we can see from this uh, uh, AI generated uh, picture. Uh, when we're driving a car, we perceive uh, other cars behind us through real view mirror instead of uh, turning our head, so that'd be so inefficient. And if we give a fish a real view mirror, will fish be able to utilize it? and uh, uh, spontaneously uh, emerge some new behaviors. And uh, that's our inspiration. And, uh, uh, and that's how we decide to conduct our uh, experiments. And naturally, we can't just present a rearview mirror to a fish because we think it's uh, to fish. It may just look like another fish in front of it. So we try to use some uh, visual signals instead, just put a mirror. And that's a demonstration of our uh, uh, 
set up in an abstract manner. For example, this is our subject fish, the orange one. And in behind it, there's a white fish in its blind zone. And when this situation happens, we give a signal, the, the blue dot in directly in front of the, our subject fish, the orange fish, to notify it uh, there's another fish in your blind zone. Yes, and we wonder, uh, will the fish be able to understand such abstract uh, signal without any uh, uh, reinforcement, without any uh, uh, punishment or awards? And we wonder, well, even when, if fish uh, understand it, what will happen? Will there be new behaviors? And this is a, a real world setting of our experiments. You can see the tank is surrounded by the uh, displaying screens to display the signal when needed. And the uh, subject fish is in the tank and the companion fish is in the tank as well. Uh, and now I should explain uh, how we set up the ex ex experiments and probably why we do it this way. So first, uh, we have benchmark experiment. Uh, no doubt, we need to uh, record what will fish do in normal situations. Then we can compare. And the second is our main experiment. The main experiment is what we is doing. What we I just uh, introduced just now, giving a fish a visual signal, so fish may be able to know there's another fish in its blind zone. And there's a comparison experiment to ex to ex sorry to exclude uh, the other assumptions that might jeopardize our results. Um, so we set up ex experiments um, that uh, the signal is given in a random manner, so it's not correlated with anything. And this is a situation when a signal being given in a main experiment. When, when the companion fish, the, the white fish is behind in the blind zone of our subject fish, the, the orange one, the a signal will be um, displayed to the fish to notify that uh, there's another fish behind you. And yeah, again, it's a, this is a reason why we try to do this, uh, setting up such uh, experiments. So for the benchmark, we obtain the normal behavior pattern of the fish uh, during and, uh, and not during there's a fish behind it. And in the ex main experiments, as, uh, we record the behavior of fish when um, when it is exposed to our um, method of uh, enhancing perception. And for comparison experiments, we just record the behavior of fish when we uh, display the signal randomly without any, without any pattern. Um, so overall, we got 17 fishes, uh, 17 fish, and uh, 16 of which are uh, subject fish, and one of it is uh, compa companion fish. And for this, uh, for this 16 fish, uh, half of them, um, half of oh, the Polish stuff on this. Uh, so only two fish are in one experiment each time. So for each experiment, there's only two fish in the tank each time. And uh, the subject fish are changed during each experiment. So one fish is, can only take one main experiment or one uh, comparison experiment. They can't take both experiments. And the temp water temperature or light or other things are controlled and we start from the middle of the day to the next day's uh, 
to the middle of the next day. So we want to make sure the start time and the end time are in the similar period of same day. So that uh, it's not when we start the fish are in the daylight and when we end the fish are in the evening, so it's sleeping. So that's the situation we want to avoid. And we, uh, to achieve this, we build our uh, own fish detection algorithm to uh, record the posture, the, the head, the body, and the tail. And we do this to avoid the situation that the location uh, detection was jeopardized by the reflection of the water or the reflection of the tank. And to analyze it, to, to find something from our experiment, there's a, uh, we set up three, mainly set up three uh, methods of analyze. First is behavior. Actually, there's a, uh, we think it's the most important one um, because it's uh, directly related to our findings. Um, uh, it's a perception percentage of the time that uh, the companion fish is in the blind zone of the uh, subject fish because we want to see if the signal is really working and that's the most direct measurement we can get. The second is a trajectory angle, like uh, how was the fish turning at any difference uh, at the start and uh, at the end. And third is the uh, speed analyze. Will it swim faster or will it swim slower? during different periods of experiments or across different experiments. Then for, for the behavior analyze, um, you can see the uh, top, the upper one is the result of the main experiments and the lower one is for the result of a comparison experiments. Um, for the background of it, the uh, orange dotted line is a result of uh, main, uh, of the benchmark experiments. And the and you can see the uh, light orange and light uh, purple background are uh, indicating the daytime and the nighttime during our experiment because it's uh, taking 22 hours, uh, tw 24 hours, so. Uh, so uh, the first impression you can get from this plot is that uh, uh, the fish in the main experiment, their percentage of time has been decreased compared to their uh, benchmark experiments. But for the uh, fish that's uh, exposed through the uh, compar comparison experiments, um, their portion of time, per percentage of time, are not stable and uh, have various uh, behaviors. And also uh, you can find that the uh, interquartile range uh, of our fish are different. Like for the main experiments, uh, the, the interquartile range is very small. They try to, uh, they tend to like uh, uh, converge uh, but for, for the fish in the comparison experiment, it's not. The behavior uh, are different for each fish. And for the trajectory analyze, uh, angle analyze, you can see uh, for the main experiments, the trajectory of the fish, uh, the trajectory angle of the fish uh, doesn't vary very much. The, their behavior are similar to their behavior in the benchmark experiments. But, but for the fish in the comparison experiments, their behavior are different compared with uh, their benchmark behavior. Like it's uh, their turning angle are smaller, especially during the night and uh, or most of the time. And we found uh, a similar result in their speeds. Um, for the fish in the main experiment, it's uh, close, but slower. But for the fish in the comparison experiment, it's much slower compared to the benchmark experiments.
So what can we uh, conduct, deduct from inference from our results? So first uh, from, from analyze, like we know that uh, that's a significant difference, significant difference uh, between the three experiments. So maybe our uh, new uh, enhanced perception have uh, let fish to uh, demonstrate a new behavior. But we need to exclude the possibility that uh, subject fish doesn't really understand. It's just doing normal things uh, in the, as a response of the visual signal. But we exclude that um, by doing the comparison experiment because uh, the fish in the compar comparison experiment and the main experiments were having different speed and different turning angles. So if, if the fish don't understand the signal, the main experiment and the comparison experiment would have been same to them, but they were doing the different thing. So they must got something or maybe something else happened. So that's why uh, we think that maybe we can uh, draw a conclusion that uh, with maybe our fish understand our signal and try to decrease the percentage of the time there's another fish behind it. Uh, but uh, we do still need some more in in investigates. Right? investigate more on how the, this mechanism happened and why they do this. And for future works, uh, we need to uh, investigate other uh, type of visual signals and we need to increase the number of uh, fish in the tank and we need to, uh, and we need to uh, investigate why there's no strong temporal difference like uh, how fast do fish, how many times, how long does the fish need to uh, understand the signal and uh, emerge the behavior? Because currently we didn't uh, go too far into, go too deep into this. And that's uh, all of that, thank you.